All right, we're back in it today. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Hydro Series S19. We get a lot of questions about these units. They have a lot of advantages, some disadvantages, and a lot of skepticism. A lot of people don't really know much about them. The first big thing that we always mention is that at this point in time, we cannot get one unit. You have to order them in bulk. So if you go to Bitmain's website and you see that those units are for sale and you're like, oh yeah, 198 terahash unit. We're in it. We're, we're ready, right? Pulls 5,445 watts, 27 and a half joules per terahash, I believe is the efficiency on that. Those units sound really, really, really lucrative. And if you can run one of them, that's perfect, but you can't. So the reason for this, you have to have a specialized container. Those specialized containers are known as the ant space HK3 containers, I believe. Yeah, it is. I was correct. So those containers can hold more than 100 units. And those containers specifically are made to run these units only, right? So if you have a normal S19 container and that container is specific to minor operations for air cooling, you're going to have fans, you're going to have racking, you're going to have filtration. And it's all going to be air-based. So your HVAC system's not going to contain any kind of water-based cooling, right? So you have to order this specialized container, this HK3. That's going to come from China. When that comes from China, you're going to have to go through some certain types of evaluations, such as electrical evaluations. It's going to have to be up to U.S. grid standards, which it can be a challenge, but I won't dive into that too much. So... You cannot order one unit. You have to order the hydro base container, this HK3. These are only available in orders of over 100 from Bitmain. And say you get a guy who orders 100 and he wants to part with one of them and he gives you one of them and he has 99 left, whatever. That still doesn't really mean that you can run it, right? You still have to design a water-based cooling system that works for this miner. It's going to happen. There's going to be people that get one unit and design a cooling system that works for one unit. It just hasn't happened yet. It will, just not yet. So that is something to very much consider in these units. I know it's kind of a burst your bubble type thing. The other thing about these containers, besides the electrical need for evaluation and meeting standards from on, on our United States electrical grid, is you need good quality water. You need calcium and magnesium filtration. You need specialized plumbers that understand what's going on. It's, it gets muddy quickly, right? Because if you have a site and it's rural and you have power, you might think to yourself, well, I'll pull groundwater. Be careful with that. If you're mining in Texas and you're rural and you have this water you believe is okay, often it's not. We've gone down that road where we believed our water was cleaner than it was. It wasn't, right? We, we thought we had city-based water. We didn't. There's a lot of hard elements in the water. Those build up. Those cause problems really quickly. So it's a large investment. Be careful what you do. Be careful with the water quality. It's a lot of consideration. Now, I'm not trying to knock on these units by any means because they will be the future, right? There's a reason that cars are not air-cooled. There is an efficiency in liquid-based cooling, right? Water or oil-based immersion, uh, call it, and it's not even oil, right? Call it dielectric fluid-based cooling and water cooling are the future. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of adapting and understanding what it's going to take to adapt to that. And those types of cooling are still going to happen in residential-based mining. It just, it's going to take time is all. So I wanted to touch base on that today. That's all I have. Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Reddit, and check out our website, muskminers.com, at muskminers for every one of those social media pages. We're really active on Twitter. We're trying to grow that. Give us a follow. We have videos and pictures posted every day. And until then, I'm going to throw out a new video drop comments in the comment section on what you want to hear about, and we'll talk about it the best we can. Thanks, guys.